Sometimes my mum and dad used to go all round the streets murdering people with shotguns, machine guns, rifles, shit, busters, bombs, and brain squeezing puzzles. Yeah. And suddenly one day they went to this cafe and had loads to kill. They looked to see who there was. There was a terrifying food inspector, a boy called Hector, cool gay and full gay, Laura Bouncy, Balls, Michael Plums, and 48 kids, a teacher who was a bit fucked up, a horror, a drunk two-year-old, Queen Fat Ass, the Prime Minister, lollipop lady with a lollipop in her ass, and Copper Cup, the ginger who was spastic ass never. It was then my mum and dad took out the ex Fantastic. So what happens? My dad starts to put hundreds of bombs all around the cafe. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And there's no one who can't escape. Because if you try to, you'd blow it up. And that's what happened to Cool Gay and Fool Gay. Boom. Ah, that was the mistake. Stepping onto the bombs to get out the room. Oh, no. And straight away, kaboom. Well, actually, he, he's... Whoosh. Cool gay and full gay were dead. That's a shame. Anyway, my mum took out her shotgun and began to murder people like mad. Hard <laughs> like keel over and die. Die, bitch, die. Ha! 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 My dad, what does he do? He stuffs a great big bomb into the inspector's mouth and then that really does it. Into the mouth. <laughs> Uh-oh. He blows up, his head bursted, and my mum was still shooting people. It was fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Hmm. Not long after, Queen Fat Ass calls 999. Later that day, the police came in. They all had a moustache. All and said, what happened? And so Queen Fat Ass said, no, you fucking blind, you shit hedge. There's blood all over the walls. So now the police of his house go upstairs. There they all were. Stop right there, criminals. Come you violator to the wall. So, so now my dad ran in with this really huge bazooka and he blows the police of his house into bits and pieces. Blimey. It was then my mum and dad ran out the door and got away as fast as they could. But, and this is a big but, once they were outside, they were surrounded by the toe toe. Uh oh. The police of his house called Georgie Bo said, Drop the gun and put your hands up into the air where I can see them, you murderers. They're rats! There's my mum. And there's my dad, he's doing the same. So now they went to the prison where they had to think of a plan to escape. Yeah. There they were, stuck in a prison chamber. First of all, my dad tries fiddling with the door. It's no good, he can't. Three weeks later, a boy called Toenail Pizza stops by the chamber of my mum and dad and says, Right, you two, this is a horrible prison, but if you give me a bag of plums with some chocolate sauce, I shall break you out. Do you understand? My dad says, Okay, but first of all, break us out of this shit prison. I can't stand this shit anymore. I'm going mad in this shit hole. Okay. Don't worry about it. It was then Toenail Pizza took a knife out of his pocket. Stop right there, said security guard. So now Toenail Pizza bangs his into the security guard's head. There was blood all over his big face. All his clothes were torn and then he healed over and died. Hmm. So now Toenail Pizza drops 48 bombs at the door and he screamed, get out of the way. He blows up the door. Kaboom! My mum and dad ran out the door and got away as fast as they could. But now a police officer who looked like a fat red tomato was guarding the place. Then Toenail Pizza took this base or bad out of his butt and starts to beat up the police officer. <laughs> Hard luck. Toenail Pizza gave my mum and dad all kinds of guns to escape properly. <laughs> And that's how my mum and dad escaped prison. Toenail Pizza never got his bag of plums. He never got his chocolate sauce either. 
That was 40 years ago. Now my mum and dad still come in mass murder. Kapoom, 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 kapoom. Kept on plums.